So I want to sort of invoke for a moment that um, young man in his mid to late 20s who um, was laying down on Wall Street and, you know, getting arrested and climbing up, you know, buildings, climbing up the walls of the FDA and the NIH and and, and unfurling banners <laughs> and doing all of that stuff. Um, uh, you know, I, I think people remember most in a way because it was um, the most visible, you know, all of those protests and what some people have called sort of the the theater of, of arousing, you know, to action and bringing attention on the illness. And I wanted to hear your thoughts on what um, were the benefits of direct action. Do you think that it was the right approach for the movement in the early days and why? It was essential. Um, you know, nobody, uh, nobody thought we deserved uh, to be listened to. Uh, nobody cared about us. We had to really shake the country up. We had to shake politicians up. Um, we had to shame them into action. And uh, one of the quickest ways to do that is to use, uh, you know, the, our so-called fourth arm of government, which is the press. Uh, and give them a, a story and a picture, give them a drama that uh, they find compelling, and uh, that that sh that creates you know good and evil, this narrative of good and evil. And we were we were the dying Americans that the country was letting die. Um, and regardless of what Americans thought about gay men and lesbians, um, they they don't like having it realizing that their own government is just letting thousands of their own citizens die. It it, it that's something that most Americans can't countenance, and uh, so we played to that shame, that guilt. And um, we shamed that we get, we gave the whole country a guilt trip, but the the street demonstrations and using the media, that's what created that narrative and that story and that and and changed the poll numbers on AIDS, um, very quickly uh, upwards of eighty percent of the country was saying we should be spending more on AIDS research, um, uh, and. Both party, a, a consensus in both parties happened that they were. They were just were going to start ramping up that NIH budget. And during ACT UP's first five years, uh, the NIH AIDS research budget uh, tripled and went over a billion dollars a year by 1992. And now it's over uh, three billion a year. That consensus has remained ever since. Um, you rarely, the Re Republican Party is as evil as they are. You don't hear them say, oh, we should slash AIDS research. And it's because of what we did during those years. Um, uh, you know, we made it politically incorrect um, to be anti-AIDS research. Um, 